So right now, the genomic surveillance is very important because we're at a pivotal point where with the vaccines, we are going to reduce very significantly the uh, number of infected cases. And we just want to make sure that there are no variants that potentially could escape the protection by the vaccine, or if not escape, just dampen it a little bit. Hi, I'm Adriana Hege. I'm the director of the Genome Technology Center here at NYU Langone Health. Viruses normally mutate. This is something that all viruses do, in particular RNA viruses like um, SARS-CoV-2. I mean, there's actually hundreds and hundreds of variants and different lineages. Uh, and most of them don't mean absolutely nothing. Some of them may give rise to a more transmissible virus. So that's why we like to keep an eye on them. We want to see how the virus is evolving throughout the pandemic. The variant of concern we were following more closely up until two weeks ago was the UK variant called B117. And uh, that mutation was determined um, by scientists um, in England the, to be more transmissible. However, it appears like vaccines will protect very well against this mutation. So the only concern is how fast they were rising. So as we identify mutations and as the variants of the virus carrying this mutation uh, are tested in vitro in labs, including labs here at NYU Langone, if we find out that maybe the uh, immune response isn't as strong against these variants, then the different pharmaceutical companies making the vaccines may decide to uh, produce a booster. And at some point, I imagine they may produce a vaccine that will, uh, you know, contain the sequences for all of these variants in the spike protein. Every week, we inform both New York State Health Department as well as New York City Health Department how many of each variant of concern or variant of interest we have found in the population. And in theory, if one of these mutations or variants turned out to be more transmissible, more severe, then uh, the city or the state may decide on public health measures, you know, other than masking and washing your hands. So I think that um, it's, it's fantastic that we're vaccinating at a very high rate. And as we reduce the uh, number of the population that becomes infected, so as infections are going down, there's fewer possibilities of any new variant of concern arising. So at this point, I don't think there's any reason to panic, but there's also no reason to let our guards down. Right now, we should still be very vigilant and continue with the mask wearing and washing our hands and the physical separation as much as possible and not gathering large groups, particularly indoors.